Oh, right, everybody. Welcome to, you guessed it, Plants vs. Zombies. Another childhood classic. If you haven't played it yet, it's, pro it's like, whatever it is, 11 years old now. 11 or 12? 2008 or 2009, I don't remember. That'd be 13... 12 or 13 years old. I haven't played it yet. You should do yourself a favor because it's pretty. It's a pretty good game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty simple. You get a preview here. It doesn't make it any less fun though. It's still. Like I said, childhood favorite of mine. through a tutorial here for like the first three three or four levels and then and then it's just game time we're coming the basic tower defense game I guess you classify it as right basically eventually we'll get uh So the commands do work. I've got my uh, modified my lawnmower there. I still remembered it. The, there's like keyboard stuff for you can like there's basically like hidden hidden achieve hidden not achievements hidden like commands. So that was like tricked out for the lawnmower. I remember you get them from like the something later in the day game the fucking tree. That you can grow gives you hints like that and whatever. Let's see if my llama was all tricked out. And sunflowers giving us more sun. Faster you can grow plants. Going straight. Yeah, pretty basic. If you haven't heard of this game, I don't know what you've been doing for whatever you like because I mean this game is relatively well known I think and like Ubisoft adapted it for EA did to like be a first person shooter so I mean you'd be under a rock I think if you haven't heard absolutely anything about this game before okay guys yeah I need some sound Need some sun, my sunflowers. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's probably not a necessity for uh, the first few levels, but I mean, double enough on sunflowers is not always a bad idea. Gives you more access to build the uh, pea shooters faster for the time being. But yeah, this is it. This is what I figured I want to play this game. Where better else to do it here? So, killing two birds with one stone, if you know what I mean. It does get progressively harder, but uh, nothing I don't think we're not prepared for. Anyways, give me another sun. Fuck. And complete my garden, my lawn defense. Alright, we got the cherry bomb, blows up all zombies in an area. Pretty useful tool. However, anything like that it takes a while to charge. Like so, like on display. And he's quite a 
single use items can help you out in a pinch. Take a little bit. Try to drop. And my sunflower. Charges super fast. Or a shooter. Charges at a decent rate. And uh, we need a pea shooter, please. And not to mention, soundtrack is bopping. story part of it will come in a bit later, I believe. But right now, we're just planting our plants. Killing zombies. Like the reference that was in the Emily is Away 3, I think. And that took place in 2008 to 2009, so yeah. So we write with our estimation guesstimation. But uh no. Basically. This is it. We just wanna chill out. Watch some plants play some zombies, this is blue if not. This is what I want to do. And I want to share it, so. Sue me. Wow. Come on, man. Look at the sun. Let's play the cherry bomb. Boom. Look at that. Does AoE. I think it only goes in either Cherry Bomb. Well, not blocks off zombies and protects you other plants. Neat. I think it only does like. Everything touching it, per se. You can see who we're going. I've got our five rows total. So, yeah, there's five rows. In the front lawn, six rows in the backyard, and then five on like the final stage where you can actually are uh, up on your roof, hanging out. Boom, zombies that climb up onto your roof want to get inside your chimney and eat your brains, you know. Trying to think of the other commands. But I can't remember them. No. No. There we go, mustache. Mode achievement. Oh, it is an achievement. Didn't used to be an achievement, but there used to be achievements in games like this, so. That was a mustache. Gives all the zombies nice. Nice furry lips. I don't know why I put that pea shooter down there. I should have worried it. Oh wow. We'll get him. So basically the walnut is like what it said. It's just really strong. Like these guys, pea shooters and like these sunflowers, like... Can get eaten up and like, you know, two, three chomps. I want to say. Walnut is like... Sustained, sustained damage taker. It can be out there for a while. It's a line of defense, that's for sure. It's like your tank. It's your tanking unit. Tanks the damage so the other plants don't happen. You know what I'm saying? Boom, just put him on this board there. See, he's just 
tank and what happy as can be. He's like, yeah, I guess I'll be out here. Got zombies now on my head, on my noodle. Always the worst when you can't make it. There's not enough time to make things symmetrical, but you know, what do you do? Boom! Kaboom! Oh, you should have seen he's taking some damage there. Oh, the shovel we got instead of a plant this time. Neato. Neat neato, let's let's dig up plants to make room for another plant. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Greetings neighbor, and the name's Crazy Dave. <laughs> you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you, but first I'll need you to pay your lawn. Use your shovel to dig up those plants, let the digging commence. Put that shovel to pick it up each time you want to dig up plants. Except if you misplace one. Or if you want to put a different plant down in that spot, maybe you eventually get enough sun and you get something better. You know? Then you put it in that spot. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise, we're going bowling. We take this walnut. Why to I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go bowl, bowl me a winner. And yeah. Basically every... Like we're in world one of... One of five right now, so I think every like, you know, like two of five, three of five, it's gonna be like a, you know, a gimmick level, say, like this. And, uh, then every, there's ten levels to a world, I guess you can call it that. 10 levels to like a uh, area. So. Every 5 levels there's a gimmick, and then every 10th level is like the last wave of the really I don't think there's gimmick on those levels, but I could be wrong. I don't really remember. But I wanna say it's just. Whatchamacallit, just the final wave, the biggest wave, supposedly the toughest wave. Let's do some Zambans. Get this guy in here. Boom, look at that. Look at that, look at all those ash piles. Another explosive guy, we hold on to you. Didn't hit nobody. You gotta be joking me. Nice. Nice. And one last walnut. For this guy. And look at that. We got the potato mine. Lucky us. We got a new plant. Potato mine explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself. Which you guys, oh look at all these achievements, oh all the pop cap stuff, I remember this, uh, all this stuff come out when it was transferred from the computer to, uh, from like the computer pop cap version to, yeah, iPhones and 
Androids or whatever, smartphones. That's when this achievement stuff unlocked. And uh, here's a bunch of like other PopCat properties. So here's Bookworm, Jeweled. I don't know this one off the top of my head. Uh, what is that? Peggle? I think. Hoggle? Peggle? Just a pipe. Oh, fuck. What's this one? know this one it's where the guy sits in the middle and you shoot the, the balls are going around the track god now I gotta search it now I guess PopCap games PopCap was the shit back in the day they were pump pumping out classics see that was Zuma Zuma I remember playing Zuma that's what that one was with the Chinese zombies, you know, when you're told that if you dig through the center of the earth, then you'll find, you'll go to China. So yeah, so yeah, this was kind of a neat Easter egg thing. Uh, this one is Chuzzle. I have no idea, I've never heard of it, never played it, which is weird because I've played it, I've played every other single one of these games, but Chuzzle, just doesn't come to mind, hypnotize the dancer zombie, discover the yeti zombie, so yeah, there's some achievements here, but lots of these can be, like even this one, both zombies and the potato mine, like, lots of these can be played, uh, well, some of these complete adventure modes, some of these we'll have to wait till get to the end of the game, but most of them can be done while just playing the game. Anyways guys, I think that'll do it for today. That went by pretty quick, 1 to 5, so uh, I think that's a good stopping point. So I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, do any of those things if you enjoyed. And as we say up here in Canada, peace out.